Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first meeting in this session of the Local Government and Communities Committee. Um, I am only going to be chairing this uh, very briefly as allegedly the oldest member of the committee. Uh, so after the first two items, I'll be passing over to the individual who will uh, be elected as convener. So a warm welcome to uh, the Local Government and Communities Committee to everyone. And can I please remind everyone to switch off any mobile phones as they can interfere with the electronic uh, sound system. So the first item on the agenda is to declare interest. And what I'm going to do, starting with myself, is to go around the table so that everyone can declare any interest relevant to the work of this uh, committee. So I will declare uh, that uh, I have a, uh, a private flat in Glasgow, which I let out to tenants. Thank you, Convener. Uh, can I declare that I received money previously from Unison to support uh, taking forward my breastfeeding bill in Parliament, and I'm also a member of Unite the Union. Bob. Uh, 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 Kenny, whilst I don't think it's directly declarable, but just for transparency, uh, I still have ongoing membership of the Educational Institute of Scotland, just for uh, clarity, put that on the record, even though it's not the Education Committee. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I am a councillor in South Lanarkshire. <sighs> Mary. Uh, I am currently a councillor at Angus Council. And, um, sorry, Andy. Andy. <laughs> I have no declarable interest, although I was a member of the local tax commission uh, up till December last year. Alexander. I am a councillor on Perth and Canross Council. Okay, uh, thank you very much for that. We now move on to the second item on the agenda, which is the choice of convener. Um, the procedure uh, is uh, very straightforward. Uh, it was agreed by Parliament that the Scottish National Party would have the convenership of this committee. Uh, therefore, only members of the SNP are, are available to be nominated. So do we have any nominations? Mary? I would like to nominate Bob Doris. Bob Doris. We don't need any seconder for that, but do we have any uh, further nominations? Graham, you're winking at me there. I thought maybe you were going to, you know. Nervous twitch. Must be, that must be what it is. Uh, okay, um, um, we have no further nominations. Uh, Bob, are you happy to accept the post? Yep. Okay, uh, we'll do that. Uh, welcome to the post of convener of the Local Government Committees Committee. I now um, vacate the post and Bob will be taking over. Okay, Bob. Okay. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, can I thank Kenny Gibson uh, for that and for Mary for, for nominating me uh, and for the, the committee for me to be the convener. Uh, it's a privilege uh, to uh, be the convener of the committee, and, but I will plough on straight with the next item on the agenda, which, shock horror, is the uh, choice of a deputy convener. So, uh, as Kenny Gibson said beforehand a fairly straightforward uh, routine for doing this. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Labour Party are eligible for nomination as Deputy Commissioner of the Committee and I will invite nominations for that post. I nominate, Ele nominate Elaine Smith. Um, okay, uh, noted. Uh, Elaine, are you happy to accept that? I am indeed. Thank, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Pleased to accept. And uh, well, congratulations, Elaine, I've been elected. You'll note that I didn't say uh, are there any other nominations. Um, as Elaine is the only Labour member on the committee, but delighted to have you as our vice convener. I'm sure we'll work very well together. And we'll move straight on to agenda item four, uh, which is decision on taking items in private. So I invite members to agree to consider agenda item, item five in private. This will be com the committee's first opportunity to consider its approach to its work programme. I also invite members to agree to consider a work programme in private at future meetings. This is because work programmes items usually include discussions of approach papers where committees have not yet reached a view on potential witnesses. So can I ask members to agree to take agenda item five and future discussions of work programmes in private? Indeed. Okay. Thank you for that. So we now move to agenda item five, which we've just agreed to take in private. So we now move into private session.